I am 100% confident in this relationship with this man. He has proven it to me time and time again. What planet is Kim on? Seriously, I mean, it's clear that she has issues when it comes to men, but this is taking burying your head in the sand to a whole new level. Who are you? Like what? So, as I'm sure you recall, the last time Kim and Usman were on our screens, Kim had just learnt, in very public fashion, that her supposed boyfriend, the man who didn't want to be seen publicly kissing her, was not only still in contact with his ex-girlfriend Zara, but appeared to still have feelings for her. At the tell-all, when I found out about the video chat with Usman and Zara, that hurt me more than you could ever know. If you want to break up with me right now, fine. You can do whatever you want to do. Here we go. I make my own living. If I want to f any lady, I can go out and have sex anywhere I want to. Wow. That, that, that's comforting. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. true. But that's yeah. true. That's the reality because you're not here, Kimbali. You're not here, Kimbali. So fast forward to the present day. Given that that was the last we heard about Kim and Usman's relationship, imagine everyone's surprise, including her best friends, when Kim drops this bombshell. I'm going back to Nigeria in a few days. So I'm going to propose to him on this trip. Now, by Kim's own admission, she's got a history of poor judgment and bad relationships. But sadly, it doesn't appear as though she's learnt her lesson. And unsurprisingly, her friends are very concerned. You know how protective we are of you. Because you have been in some really relationships where you didn't get treated well. Why and do you think we're so of you then? So this is our job. So then we ask the question. I was married for 20 years. It was bad though, really bad. After that, I said I was never going to get married, never fall in love, just go and bang somebody out every once in a while. And then I met Usman. <laughs> ah, yes, Usman. AKA Soja Boy, international superstar. King of Africa. Her toy boy Nigerian prince, who claims he's the king of Africa and has a track record of marrying older American ladies. Good choice, Kim. Good choice. Oh my god, this is funny. So here's a million dollar question. If the last time we saw them on our screens, their relationship looked on very shaky ground, but now Kim's about to propose, what the hell happened in between? Kim, can you fill in the gaps? He called me and just kept apologizing and saying he was sorry. And then I really thought about it and I was like, I love this man. Like, I want to find out what our future holds. So, on a quest to find out what their future holds, Kim travelled to Nigeria where Usman gave her the time of her life. Love you. Love you. He treated me like a total queen. And now, I am 100% confident in this relationship with this man. He has proven it to me time and time again. Or as he says, time without number. Um, okay, if you say so, Kim. But someone who criticizes your appearance and gives you self-confidence issues isn't treating you like a queen. <clears throat> Do y'all notice anything different? Ooh, I see. Because remember I was telling you when I was in Nigeria that Usman made that comment about my teeth were yellow? Well, you, you got it done because of that? Kinda. Either way, with her new whitened teeth and a new sense of confidence in her relationship, Kim reveals that she's going to propose to Usman. The thing is, her friends are left questioning whether Kim has actually thought this through properly. Last time we talked, like, you mentioned it, that he does want kids, so... Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can't have children. So, we would have a second wife that we, he would have children with. I mean, the nonchalant, blasé way that Kim says that, like, oh yeah, he can get a second wife, he can have kids with her. It's just crazy to me. This lady lives on a different planet to us. She's so desperate to be loved that she's burying her head in the sand and doing her best to avoid all the problems. And believe me, no matter how cool she tries to play it, a second wife would be a problem for her. But conveniently, she's got an equally deluded answer for that too. I know it sounds crazy, but like women there, they're like brought up to do this. You know what I mean? I'm the first wife, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like I get all the love, I get all the good stuff. 
Sure, yeah. So women in Nigeria are brought up to be second wives, Kim? Is that what you're saying? And more to the point, what's this deluded attitude that she'd still be Queen B? She'd be wife number one, the one with all the love. Like, come on. But it gets even better. This was a part that really convinced me Kim has totally lost the plot. If he gets that K1, does he get to bring those kids over no. with him? Why not? They're not going to come live with but me. But why wouldn't but he what, want, but wouldn't he want his kids here? Because that's just not how it is there. Like, I've read the Islamic law. Who are you? Like, what? Oh, no, no, no. Those kids aren't going to live with me. The way she said that, that right there, that's what she's really thinking. Not this whole, I'm so cool with it, it's okay vibe that she's trying to give off. I'm not buying it, Kim. She isn't cool with it, just like most people wouldn't be. But her desperation to cling on to Usman, like he's some kind of prize, has literally made her lose her mind. Even when she talks about how she's given the idea of a second wife and kids some thought, and how it keeps her up at night, notice how she doesn't finish her sentence. She just kind of reverts back to how great Usman is. Don't think I don't lay in bed and I have these thoughts like, what am I going to do when he has kids? Like, what's my role with these kids? I do have these questions, but I feel like I get so defensive because because it's like, I know the man who's been, I know the man that makes me so happy. So tell us what your role with these kids would be, Kim. By my understanding, you just want them out of sight, out of mind. Keep wife number two and the kids in Nigeria, while in your fantasy land, Usman stays in the US with you. And as we've seen Kim do before multiple times, when people who care about her try to point out to her that her way of thinking is flawed, she gets very defensive and storms off. Again, burying her head in the sand. Look at the questions you're asking me. I would never ask well, you guys. Kim, are you asking? I would them? never ask you guys this. And it's about now we're talking about the second wife. Can I walk away for a minute, please? She takes her friend's genuine concern, very legitimate questions, as a personal attack. But it's not an attack. It's just her friends looking out for her. And it sounds to me like she needs someone to look out for her. Because when she says stuff like this, it just proves to me that she's living in a fairy tale world. I know how I feel about him. Why can't that just be enough? Why can't that be enough? Why can't your feelings just be enough? Here's why, Kim. You're throwing stuff at us about a second wife and freaking kids. Like, no, we haven't met you him. You want us to not ask any questions? Okay, I guess that's a lie. <laughs> It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> That's an understatement and a half. It's a lot, yeah. Now, look, while I don't know Kim personally and I'm in absolutely no position to dig into why she acts the way she does, I think it's very telling that her best friend, who obviously knows her very well, has this to say about why Kim acts the way she does. Maybe she gets so defensive with us because she doesn't have enough confidence in her relationship yet. She wants us to believe she does, and she wants to believe she does, but it's not, it's just not there yet. And that just reaffirms what I've been saying. It's as if Kim is determined to bury her head in the sand. I'm sure that deep down, she knows that all is not right, but she just doesn't want to face it. She is trying to convince herself and everyone else that Usman is a catch and that all will be okay.